All right, let's test the durability on this thing. This is a review of the Quip Cruiser, 27 inch. By Retrospec. There are a lot of boards out there. There are a lot of boards out there. There are a lot of boards out there, but one particular board that catches your eye on the web is the Retrospec 27 inch cruiser board. And that is because in comparison to its competitor, it is significantly cheaper. Now, I don't know about you, but a lot of people think cheaper means lower in quality, which usually that's true. But I have found differently for this board, and I think it's actually worth the money. You know, let me just let me just show you. So what I did first was I bought this red one. This is crimson red with the white wheels. You know, I bought this during Corona times, so there wasn't a lot of options. It seemed like they were out of stock in almost every single color, which if you look at Retrospect's website, they're out of stock on a lot of things almost all the time, but I'll let them figure that part out. So I ended up just pulling the trigger on this one. I wasn't too sure about the actual color, uh, the web color at least, uh, but when it did come in, I really liked it. It didn't look, it's a little bit more, it's a little bit lighter than in the picture online. I feel like the one online is a little bit like a dark, dark maroon, um, but this is more of like that retro hipster red. And then they turned out really nice actually with the wheels. I think the white is like a pretty good fit. And then I ended up liking it so much. Hold on. I got a second one for my wife. This is the, I don't know what the name of this blue is, but it on the website, it looks like a uh, royal blue. Both are fantastic. All right, so let's get down to business. So here is what we're working with, guys. That's the bottom of the board. Nothing special there. Top of the board. Trucks look fairly basic. They get the job done. You can kind of see the bearings. Hear the bearings in action. Well, that wasn't impressive, but of course you're paying only $37 this board so you're not going to be getting the best bearings out there and they, it doesn't look like they really spin that well but I'm gonna hop on the board in a second here and I'll show you guys so as far as the size of the board I feel like for me the hardest part about picking between the, uh, the smaller penny board and this nickel board was just like size and how that's gonna affect the ride and everything so I wear like a ten and a half uh, shoe size and this is what my foot looks like on the board. So if I put it all the way up top, you can kind of see there how much space you're gonna have. So you can kind of see there that the board is like the perfect size. And that was one of the things that I was thinking about when I was buying the board was, you know, I like to go pretty fast and down hills on these things. And I know on the penny boards, once you start to pick up speed, you start to wobble and then that wobble eventually just like throws you off the board in terms of size i think it's the perfect size i would not have gone with a penny board yeah you can put it in your backpack and just take it wherever but that's not what i'm trying to do i'm trying to not fly off my board I'm trying to enjoy this thing so the competitor's argument for being so much higher in price is the material that they use for the board they say it's super durable, won't break, all that kind of stuff. But honestly, I'm like, I don't even know what I am these days, 170? Like 
extremely sturdy. I mean, what are you gonna be doing on this thing that it's gonna break? That you need special material. I don't know, I'm just gonna be riding. Well, speaking of riding, let's go test this thing out. Guys, I've been riding this thing for like four or five months now. I don't know what else I could tell you. The board is solid. The price is great. There's literally nothing else I can do to convince you. I don't see why you need to spend an extra 80 or $90 for the same thing. Do it, try it. I would do it. I would buy this board again. Is it perfect? No. Is it gonna be enough for you for a while? Oh, heck yeah. Eventually, yeah, I would like to upgrade the bearings and the wheels, but you don't even need to do that. That's about all I can say about this board. It's great, you should buy it. It's totally worth the money. It's budget friendly. But I know you came here just to see those slow motion shots, right? That's the durability on this thing. Oh man, you guys thought I was gonna destroy my awesome board? Just like that? For a YouTube video? Come on. This was not sponsored. If you sponsor it, then maybe I'll, I'll do it, but I need to ride it. Did I mention my name is Junet? I make videos, just started a YouTube channel. Yeah, if you're new here for the first time, at least like the video if you did, if it helped you. All right, hold on, I gotta get out of the sun. Well, now that I'm out of the sun, this is not gonna be a review channel. I just do some from time to time and products that I like. Uh, if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up, give it a like. I don't even care if you subscribe. You should subscribe if you like this content. I want genuine subscribers. I don't want a million, uh, million fake fake people or half a million fake like I really want you to subscribe only if you liked it yeah so um, see you guys in the next one